live to New South Wales now. The New South Wales National Leader and Deputy Premier John Barillaro joins us. Uh, John Barillaro, thank you for your time. Uh, the story we're covering this morning, the Nationals at a federal level want an extra $1.3 billion strength, uh, spent on drought-affected communities. Is it warranted? Oh, look, uh, good morning. Uh, it definitely is warranted. Uh, the reality now is that uh, we've seen consecutive months, uh, 31 consecutive months of very little rainfall. The drought is impacting not just on farmers but regional and rural communities. Uh, the impact is beyond the farm gate and uh, we're in uncharted waters. We, we need to do more uh, and uh, the truth is uh, both, both levels of government, state and federal, uh, will need to find greater resources, more resources to deal with what is becoming a significant crisis in the regions. And, uh, you know, I, I do congratulate the federal nationals uh, for taking a lead in a space uh, that they've always had a lead. And, you know, the story talks about the, the relevance of the Nats. Well, the nationals celebrate 100 years this year as a party, and we've always been the safety net for regional rural New South Wales or regional rural Australia. Always have been, will always will be. And it's great to see the Nats fighting uh, for continued investment in the bush. This would be extra money through the community grants uh, program that's already in existence. Um, it would be a tenfold increase. And part of the plan is for the states to pay half. Would you be willing to pay half? Well, we as a state, when you look at what we've done, $1.8 billion already to drought relief, we're already looking at uh, additional resources. Um, and the truth is that uh, this is now uh, beyond what I said the norm. Uh, it, it's not now about blaming or, or finding who's responsible for particular jurisdictions. But right now, uh, the, so the, the future of... John Barillaro, or would you be looking to do your own thing? Well, we're, we're looking at our own measures. Uh, you know, the Feds, I haven't seen the detail of what they're proposing, but we've got to be targeted in New South Wales. We've got communities that are running out of water. We've got farmers who just can't, who just can't uh, buy fodder, can't buy feed for their stock. Uh, and we're seeing uh, now other industries impacted. So we're, we're looking at a range of measures at a state level to see how we can do more. But the reality here is we'll see how that complements what the federal uh, Nats are yeah, pushing right. and what okay. the federal government will do. Well, this is the community grants program that you know uh, very well. They're being given uh, up to a million dollars at the moment. I think it's, it's more than um, 100 communities that are eligible for this. This is about a tenfold increase for some of those communities. Wouldn't that help some of those uh, communities that you're referring to that are looking at uh, running out of water? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, and, and that's why on the weekend we've, we we flagged about seventy million dollars of additional yeah. drought stimulus for so, communities. So, are you saying that you'll so look at the, the detail same. here, and yeah. you will talk to your uh, nationals counterpart at a federal level, and perhaps talking about stumping up half the cash? Well, no, I'm not saying about stumping up half the cash. At the end of the day, what I'm saying is the state government already has programs, and we have just announced. Uh, in the budget, $170 million to stimulate uh, beyond the farm gate. That is the same sort of projects that the federal Nats are pitching forward, uh, part of this package. Mm. Uh, and uh, we're about to make announcements of further investments in that space. So okay. we're already aligned in one way and we, we've got to work together. And people don't want to see the blame game, but it's got to be targeted. One, we've got to support farmers. Two, we've got to support regional communities, you know, subcontractors, builders, mm. those that the supply chain into, into agriculture. They're all doing it tough. It's not just one sector now uh, because of the length of this drought. More needs to be done. And, you know, today I... I put an op-ed out that, you know, when you think about what's the spend in, reg in regional and rural New South Wales, the importance of the drought, compared to what we take for granted in places like Sydney, now's the time to have a broader conversation, not just amongst politicians, but actually with the general public about what are they prepared to do without uh, look at election commitments, look at infrastructure spend, even program funding, pausing some program funding in the short term, and possibly even going into deficit, if that is what's required to deal with what is a crisis for regional uh, New New South Wales and other parts what of Australia. What is the perception out there, John Barillara, about how the nationals at state and federal level have handled the drought? In this document, it goes through the sensitivities um, that if, if this is not clearly branded at nationals, that you're going to be really uh, trounced on at the next election by One Nation shooters and fishers. Do you believe that to be true? Well, you know, at the state level, we lost the seat of Barwon and Murray because of uh, issues with uh, the Murray-Darling Basin Plan, with the Murray-Darling River in relation to the drought. So, you know, we've seen firsthand that when people are anxious uh, and, and there's desperation in the regions, they'll take it out on, on, on the government of the day. And, and we were at the front of that and, that, and we copped the brunt of it. But, you know, four, three and a half years out from the next election for the state or two and a half years out for the federal government. This isn't an election issue. This is actually uh, an issue in relation to the future of regional and rural communities. This should not be 
uh, seen through the lens of politics. And, you know, for, for minor parties, it's very easy to stand up in Parliament, be it in the Senate or the Upper House or in, in the Legislative mm -hmm. Assembly, and, and actually put forward ideas that you can't deliver on. It's actually about delivery, and that's what we've got to get on with. Well, when are you making the leap to the big boys' league, as Lou O'Brien put it? Uh, well, look, the truth is, you know, there's been speculation. I, you know, I uh, touched base with Mike Kelly this week because he's actually got a bit of a, a health issue that he's dealing with, and uh, uh, we joked about it. We joke about the continued speculation. Both of us were re-elected this year, and we're getting on with working. Uh, there is no, there is no uh, uh, by-election in front of us right now. So the truth is, uh, if an opportunity arises in the, in the future, uh, I'll consider it at the time. I'm not ruling anything in or out, but I'll tell you what, I'm. Uh, really happy with what I'm doing as Deputy Premier Leader of the New South Wales Nationals. More importantly, as the member for Monero, I've got a whole heap of work to do and uh, I'm just focused on that. If that opportunity did arise between now and the next federal and state election, would you take it? I'm not, I'm not ruling anything in or out. I'll, I'll give consideration. It's more than just uh, a move politically. That could actually be a very selfish move for me. I've, I've got a family to worry about as well with a very young daughter, so uh, let, I'll have that discussion and if and when. a slim majority. Well, that's right. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, I'm, I'm proud of what I'm achieving at a state level. You don't have to be in federal politics to achieve. You can do it from outside. And I think the partnership that we saw on uh, uh, the, the announcements on dam infrastructure in New South Wales is one that clearly shows you can influence uh, even federal policy, even if you're not in it.